chapter 43. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you, I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory whom I formed and made. Bring out the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. All the nations gather together, and the peoples assemble. Who among them can declare this, and show us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses to prove them right, and let them hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I declared and saved and proclaimed when there was no strange God among you. And you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God. Also henceforth I am he. There is none who can deliver from my hand. Amen. I work, and who can turn it back? Oh, wow. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives, even the Chaldeans, in the ships in which they rejoice. Hmm. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea. A path in the mighty waters, Hallelujah. who brings forth chariot and horse, army and warrior. Hallelujah. They lie Jesus. down, they cannot rise. Mm -hmm. They are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Mm -hmm. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Mm. Behold, I am doing a new Hallelujah. thing. Now it springs forth. Hallelujah. Do you not perceive it? Mm. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. The wild beasts will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches. Amen. For I give water in the wilderness, mm. rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the Amen. people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my Amen. praise. My praise Yet you did not call upon me, O Jacob, mm. but you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have mm. not brought me your sheep for burnt offerings, or honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings, or wearied you with frankincense. What the Lord wants us to do to give him our hearts to obey his word. And pray this morning that we before we come to the end of this program this morning. The Lord will touch us and open our eyes to the areas he wants us to amend. The areas he wants us to take seriously. In the area that enemy have been telling you that oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter oh god understands so the lord can open our eyes so we take things serious in the name of you can see he said i am your king i am your lord i am here i'll make i'll make a way in those waters or make a way in the desert places in those horrible situations that you're going through i'm making a way i'm making a way i'm making a way Put your mind, put your trust, trust me, trust me, because from that trusting in the Lord, in the process will open our eyes to the to the thing the Lord is doing. But if you allow murmuring and complaining, if you allow the weight of what you're going through, unfortunately you cannot see. You cannot see. And that is the reason why it's very vital in everything we are going through. 
give thanks to the Lord. Bless his name. Give thanks in everything you are going through. Both in good, in bad time. No matter whatever that you are going your that happened in your life. Give him thanks. Because the thanks will open your eyes to the opportunities all around you. The thanks will open your eyes to the light in the tunnel. Without thanks, you cannot see the light in the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel. You're going to have mercy in Jesus' name. And this one again, when you're going to just pray, ask the Lord, Father, have mercy on us, then we have sin against you. Consciously or consciously, I say, go into this praise and worship, Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. Touch us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And there's this song that uh, I was just looking at, so we'll just do something a bit different this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the
Yeah. 
Spirit so embodied the blood of Jesus. I soak my spirit so embodied the blood of Jesus. 
Let the name of Jesus fight for me. Let the name of Jesus fight for me. Let the name of Jesus contend with every part contending with me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, you this morning. Dedicate us to you, Lord, this morning. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And in the of open Lord, we shut those doors in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. And to this morning, Lord, pray to us, Lord Jesus. As we read your word, open our eyes, O Lord, to these truths. And let them begin to walk in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. And welcome again this morning, my brothers and sisters. The Lord has been so great. And it is a wonderful thing to see the Friday again this week. A lot of people are, have to be in the hospital. Some one emergency or the other. Some even up to death. But none of that. I'm looking to tell you this 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 week. We ready to go on the name of Jesus. As you embark into your into your last activity this week, I pray the Lord will grant it all with favor, with blessings, in the name of surprises, in the name of the breakthroughs, in the name of Jesus, with a positive response to those applications, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let everything the Lord has created all around you begin to favor you, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is great and great to be praised. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you perfect all that concerns us today. In the name of Jesus. We are going to have the reason to give him glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Now let's open our scripture to the book of Thank you Lord Jesus. Let's open the Bible, the book of um, Joshua, chapter 16, from verse 1 to end. Father, open our eyes for understanding this morning. Speak to your children in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go. Chapter 16 The allotment of the people of Joseph went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, into the wilderness going up from Jericho into the hill country to Bethel. Then going from Bethel to Luz, it passes along to Adaroth, the territory of the Archites. Then it goes down westward to the territory of the Japhletites, as far as the territory of Lower Beth Horon, then to Gezer, and it ends at the sea. The people of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inheritance. The territory of the people of Ephraim by their clans was as follows. The boundary of their inheritance on the east was Adaroth Adar, as far as Upper Beth Horon, and the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Mikmathath, then on the east the boundary turns around toward Tanath Shiloh, and passes along beyond it on the east to Genoa, then it goes down from Genoa to Adaroth and to Neara, and touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua the boundary goes westward to the brook Cana, and ends at the sea. Such is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Ephraim by their clans, together with the towns that were set apart for the people of Ephraim within the inheritance of the Manassites, all those towns with their villages. However, they did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites have lived in the midst of Ephraim to this day, but have been made to do forced labor. The Canaanites still live in and I pray in the name of Jesus that every blessings and every assurance the Lord has given to us, we take them seriously. You see, when we don't take them seriously, we end up paying bitterly for those neglects, for those compromise, for those disobedience. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this morning, I want to pray this prayer. Every blessing the Lord has for me today, Every blessing the Lord have for me this very month, this year, in the name of Jesus. I walk in them, in the name of Jesus. Then my spirit soul body begin to inherit, begin to walk, begin to possess, begin to take, in the name of those blessings. 
every manipulation of the enemy to keep the city destroyed. The blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus. Take my inheritance. I take my possession. In the name of Jesus. My son in the name of Jesus. All my, all my, all my, all, all my. Hmm. All my goods. All, all the things, all the good things that you've done. Because as we obey, the obedience brings blessings. Hallelujah. And so obey, the obedience obey, obey brings blessings. You know, uh, we, we say something like, uh, you know, you know uh, I mean, uh, 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 the unmerited favor. You know, that you don't merit things and things happen. I'm telling you in this life, there's nothing, those things that, those blessings that come, you actually merited them. Something happened. Sometimes it happened. Right there. See, yesterday I was discussing with someone about some of the scriptures, you know. You know, if you look at the life of, of David, the life of um, all, the, all these great men of God, they did something that, that, that brought about those blessings. They did something. You need to obey. You need to be, just like now, you know, in your house, you have about two or three servants. One of the servants always behave, behave himself and, 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 and worship you just like uh, you know, Haggai did to Abraham. You cannot tell me that it's only Haggai that Abraham has, 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 has as a servant. God had me in the name of Jesus. At the end of it, oh, what happened? Because Haggai took his, his master, you know, you know, you know, his place as his own thing, all his master's position and everything that concerns his master. He took them personally. And that is what make it, made him to what stand out. That what attracted the favor that he had you know, with Abraham. Then too with God in everything we do, even with the nature. If you continue to be wicked and do evil and you expect you know favor to come, we are joking. We are joking. Hallelujah. We are joking. It's only the time you may be doing something ignorantly. Listen to me very carefully. Sometimes people can be ignorantly, you know, wicked and we ignorantly do one thing or the other that is not right. If you listen to them and sit down with them, you can see the sincerity and the genuity of their actions. That is not understood. The Lord will see favor. This we see turn around to do go go we'll still use them just like what happened to Paul. Paul was lost with religion, thinking he was doing the right thing. And God saw his heart as even though he had killed a lot of people, but God did not take it to be that he's a murderer. Just as he was seriously on that, that wicked spirit of religion, ignorance. And after all, when his eyes was clear, you can you can see. He was totally a changed man. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Can you tell me that there's no other harvest that was there when the children of Israel went to the you know, to check the Jericho? There were other harvest there. But this one found favor in the sight of God. You can see that it is the way she acted. You can see that she's not ordinary harvest. The one who has sense, but but situation would have probably pushed her there to be doing that. And she still recognized that she had parents, she had brothers, she has siblings, she had those who are around him, around her. And you see, that means the thing, the good thing she has been doing for his family, even in that, sincerely, you know, ignorant of what she was doing. At the end of it all, you can see it rewarded her. She was rewarded. Hallelujah. And therefore, and some of us who always pray and oh God let men fall from heaven. God let this fall from heaven. They cannot not engage your hand into something. Or having something in your hand you want to do. And ask of God favor. What, what, how can God favor fall? God has to see your seriousness before his favor begin to you know, you know, fall upon you. You have to be doing one thing or the other right. Before the favor of God begin to fall upon you, may God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. His favor and his blessings always there for us to tap. 
but you need to a kind of change, a repair, change of character, be sincere, love one another as, as, as ourselves. In the process we begin to be conscious of the things we do and try to be conscious to do those things right, not to use them, you know, negative influence or, you know, you know, to become wicked, to you know, not be able to operate in that in that in that threefold of destruction of the enemy to kill, to see, to destroy. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. And whatever it is that you're being really knocked down, whatever it is that the enemy has manipulating us, whatever every form of blindness and deafness, whatever dullness the enemy has projected against us, and we be, may be using it to cause a lot of havoc in our lives, the blood of Jesus against you this morning will destroy those works of darkness over your life in the name of Jesus. Those works of darkness be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God and the favor of God in the name of Jesus take over. Hallelujah. Remember what the Lord said. He is the one who is diligent in what he does. Shall be blessed. And so you are diligent. You attract what God's favor. When you obey, you attract God's blessings. You God help us. When you refuse to walk in the castle of the ungodly, you attract what God's protection and clarity. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, we cannot continue to sin for grace to abound. You continue to sin. The reward and the, well, the favor that the sin will bring to you is what? Destruction and death. And therefore, may God open our eyes to this truth in the name of Jesus. Because some people, oh, that one have done this. Oh, am I the only one who have sinned? Oh, he's deceiving. If you go deep to those kind of people very well, there's something they are doing that you don't know. Some of them may be sincerely ignorant of things. Even though ignorance is not an excuse, there's something that God to overlook. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Lord will talk, the Lord will heal, the Lord will, 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 and will transform us to make us to be a better people for Him, for His own glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now let's move on to the book of Hallelujah. Let's move on to the book of um, what do you call it? Book of um, Acts, chapter 21. Mm -hmm. Acts 21. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. Chapter 21. And when we had parted from them and set sail, we came by a straight course to Kos, and the next day to Rhodes, and from there to Patera, and having found a ship crossing to Phoenicia, we went aboard and set sail. When we had come in sight of Cyprus, leaving it on the left, we sailed to Syria and landed at Tyre, for there the ship was to unload its cargo. And having sought out the disciples, we stayed there for seven days. Mm. And through the Spirit, they were telling Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. When our days there were ended, we departed and went on our journey. And they all, with wives and children, accompanied us until we were outside the city. And kneeling down on the beach, we prayed and said farewell to one another. Then we went on board the ship, and they returned home. When we had finished the voyage from Tyre, we arrived at Ptolemaeus, and we greeted the brothers and stayed with them for one day. On the next day, we departed and came to Caesarea, and we entered the house of Philip the Evangelist, who was one of the seven, and stayed with him. He had four unmarried daughters who prophesied. While we were staying for many days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea, and coming to us, he took Paul's belt and bound his own feet and hands and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, this is how the Jews at Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there urged him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be imprisoned, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And since he would not be persuaded, we ceased and said, Let the will of the Lord be done. You don't know. After these days, we got ready and went up to Jerusalem. And some of the disciples from Caesarea went with us, bringing us... See, most time in our life, this very 
future happens in our lives, then we end up allowing fear to stop what God wants to do in your life. This kind of this kind of prophecy sometimes it's like a red sea. God just wants to see your countenance, how strong you are to face those challenges, how you trust in Him. I, do you trust in me for because things are moving smoothly? And God help us in the name of Jesus. And see what Edina said. Yes. Do you want to? Are you trying to? Are you trying to? Are you trying to? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because of the revelation. God revealed to redeem. He not revealed for you to run away. He revealed for you to face the Goliaths. And he revealed for you to face that situation and overcome them. And I receive that, that, that overcoming grace in the name of receive that domineering grace in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bold face that situation, that situation, surrender and the humble himself before him. Through that, the word of God was spread. Through that, a lot of great things were done. Hallelujah. Let's continue. To the house of Nason of Cyprus, an early disciple with whom we should lodge. When we had come to Jerusalem, the brothers received us gladly. On the following day, Paul went in with us to James, and all the elders were present. After greeting them, he related one by one the things that God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. And when they heard it, they glorified God, and they said to him, You see, brother, how many thousands there are among the Jews of those who have believed. They are all zealous for the law, and they have been told about you, that you teach all the Jews who are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or walk according to our customs. What then is to be done? They will certainly hear that you have come. Do therefore what we tell you. We have four men who are under a vow. Take these men and purify yourself along with them, and pay their expenses, so that they may shave their heads. Thus all will know that there is nothing in what they have been told about you, but that you yourself also live in observance of the law. But as for the Gentiles who have believed, we have sent a letter with our judgment that they should abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols, and from blood, and from what has been strangled, and from sexual immorality. Then Paul took the men, and the next day he purified himself along with them, and went into the temple, giving notice when the days of purification would be fulfilled, and the offering presented for each one of them. When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia, seeing him in the temple, stirred up the whole crowd and laid hands on him, crying out, Men of Israel, help! This is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against the people and the law and this place. Moreover, he even brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus the Ephesian with him in the city, and they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Then all the city was stirred up, and the people ran together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple, and at once the gates were shut. And as they were seeking to kill him, Word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in confusion. He at once took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. And when they saw the tribune and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Then the tribune came up and arrested him and ordered him to be bound with two chains. He inquired who he was and what he had done. Some in the crowd were shouting one thing, some another. And as he could not learn the facts because of the uproar, he ordered him to be brought into the barracks. And when he came to the steps, he was actually carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the crowd, for the mob of the people followed, crying out, Away with him! As Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the tribune, May I say something to you? And he said, Do you know Greek? Are you not the Egyptian then who recently stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 men of the assassins out into the wilderness? Paul replied, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Cilicia. A citizen of no obscure city, I beg you, permit me to speak to the people. And when he had given him permission, Paul, standing on the steps, motioned with his hand to the people. And when there was a great hush, he addressed them in the Hebrew language, saying, Amen. Chapter. He continues saying in the new, in the chapter 22, in the name of Jesus. 
can see here as a Christian, even, even those who are not Christian, you know, this world, we are, there are a lot of challenges. Always challenges, always challenges. The boldness to, to face those issues matters a lot. For example, now, if a child starts growing up and uh, everything, them, the parents want to do everything for them, they don't even give them responsibility, they want to do everything, they are destroying that child. But when a child you know, faces a situation where the parents are not there, maybe they travel or sickness or whatever, then they become useless. It's always good we allow the child to join you when they still they begin to give him responsibility as they begin to you know they mature they give him greater responsibilities so that in the process you know in the future when things when the situation begin to you know change he can be able to take responsibility take decision on his own and he take care of the other other ones or even if he go to school or goes to he be able to take some disaster area because of all the training he or she have gone through. May God help us in the name of you. You can see Paul here. He has faced ups and downs. He's a tough man. Hallelujah. Which is the accumulation of the things he went through. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray that enough of milk may be to eat the, the, the raw meat, the meat, in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace to overcome situations. Receive that grace, O Lord, to walk upon those waters. Receive that grace, O Lord Jesus, to cross those rivers to out there. In the name of whatever situation that is, that is challenging you, receive that grace to overcome them this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the perfect will of God be done in every that concerns us. In Jesus' name we pray. And this morning I want us to begin to add the Lord. Anyone who has sinned against Him, forgive us. In the name of Jesus, this morning come into our lives and be the Lord of our lives. In the name of your dedicate yourself to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, and the Lord to use you in the name for His own glory. And the Lord to strengthen you. And the Lord to direct you. And the Lord to help you to make to always make the righteous. In the name of Jesus, say this word with me. Say in the name of Jesus, I will, I will, I will fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my destiny by the power in the blood of Jesus. I will fulfill my destiny despite all the challenges all around me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So shall it be. See the grace to begin to fulfill your destiny. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want us now to quickly go to our confession this morning. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. In the name of Jesus, my son anymore. For you are with me, your rod and your star that comfort me. You prepare the table before me, before you, in the presence of your enemy, in the presence of my enemy, in the presence of our enemies, in the name of Jesus. You anoint our hell with oil, my cup of a flow. Show the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of your Psalm 59, verse 1 and 2. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. Hallelujah. And save me from the blood testament. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 91, verse 1 to end. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snake or the fowler. In the name of Jesus. And from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinion, and under his wing you will find refuge. The swiftness, the shield, and the buckler. In the name of Jesus. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day. You will not fear the person that stalk in darkness. No, the instruction that was at in the mighty name of Jesus, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, they will not come near you. In the name of Jesus, Master, you will only look to your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. 
in the name of Jesus. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. The most high is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. In the name of no prayer will come near your tent. In the name of your you command his angel concerning you to guard you in all your ways. In the name of Jesus. On the hand will bear you up. Let you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent shall trample underfoot. In the name of you. Because he who falls to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. Man, Moses. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be him in trouble. In the name of Jesus. I will rescue him and honor him. The honor of the time and show him my salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Son, one of the four from my son to end. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. In the name of Jesus. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold, holy, and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. Just of these people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? Or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. By your heavens, O Lord, and come down. In the name of Jesus. Master, told the mother so the smoke. In the name of Jesus. And flush for the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrow and rule them. Stretch out your hand from all high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters. Hallelujah. From the hand of the foreigners, whose man is Christ, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood, in the name of Jesus. My son, the most occupied by Rakia. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. I will pray to you who give victory to kings, who rescue David his servant from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me. From the hand of the foreigners, whose man is Christ, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rescue me and deliver me. From the hand of the foreigners, Whose mouth speak lies, and whose right hand is shut down of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like a plant, full grown, our daughter like a canopy that caught for a sort of a palace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May our glory be full, providing all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus. May our sheep bring four thousands and ten thousand in our fields. In the name of your may our cattle be heavy with you, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. In the mighty name of Jesus. May Sunday may David may our cattle be, be heavy with you, suffering no mishap or of failure in, in bearing. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May there be no crowd of distress in our streets. In Jesus' name. Blessed are the people to whom so blessing for. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 124 from us, one to end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, my son, and let me. When we rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When the anger was killed against us, then the flow would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us are gone the raging waters. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us a separate to their teeth. We have escaped like a bear from the snake of the fowler. The snake is broken, we have escaped. Because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus. For I let all this wickedness being done over us, O Lord Jesus. Let it backfire and let the doers of this evil, in the name of Jesus, receive the greater frustration in their life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I know you are good. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. You know, that this song we sing, I will praise him. I will praise him. I will praise him forevermore. Hallelujah. That is who you are. That is who I am. Going to praise no matter whatever wickedness being exerted over you. In the name of God. Don't let those manipulations to shut up your mouth. And don't let that manipulation of the enemy to make you to feel, oh, oh, people be saying, let them say, 
Do what you have to do. Let them say. Let them say in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so shall it be. In the name of you. Don't allow the enemy to bring you down. Don't allow enemy in any way. Hallelujah. In the name of you. There are some people who their situation is worse than yours one million times. And they are still coming and they doing the work the Lord has given to them. Do you know that some people today, because only they don't have a complete hand, they can they God have called them for ministry, they cannot do the ministry. Or because they have black eyes, they cannot do God's ministry. Or because of one thing or other happened to them, they maybe they figure one way, they cannot do the work the Lord has called them. But there is a man who doesn't have hands and legs doing work for God. Therefore, you don't have any excuse. Hallelujah. And I pray God open our eyes in the name of Jesus. Don't allow demonic manipulation and, and the manipulation to to approach you from what God has assigned you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right now, we declare and declare peace over Jerusalem and Israel. Peace over your entire kingdom and all the countries of the world. In the name of your we pray for our leaders. We rather not give them great wisdom and knowledge and understanding to be great leaders. In the name of your protect them from every evil. In the name of your pray, Lord, especially understanding, understanding. Because when the understanding is fully there, a lot of things that they do, they will not do it. If they know that this thing they do is, is going to end up, you know, disastrous, or they are indirectly shooting themselves at foot, they will not do it. And therefore, Lord, give our leaders, give us all our understanding, and keep us away from all evil. In the name of Jesus, our heart exalts and prays. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning. I will say, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Shalom to you all. Have a very wonderful day. The rest of what we see in the evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>